What's up guys, I'm bringing you guys another tutorial because you keep having problems with the CLR browser and OBS itself. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to get all this completely installed and it should completely work. So what you want to do is, first you're going to install OBS and you want to figure out which, um, which bit version you have. So you're going to go to start, computer, and right click on it. Click properties. And when you click properties, it should say, oh, it'll say installed memory, 8 gigabytes. It'll say system type, 64-bit operating system. That's what I have, 64-bit. So yours will either say 32-bit or 64-bit. If it doesn't, anything over 4 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes is 64-bit. Anything under 4 gigabytes is 32-bit. So th now we have that out of the way. So you figured out you need 64-bit for OBS. All right, you're gonna download OBS and install it, and yada yada yada. So it's installed. Everything's all installed. So you're gonna to go to my computer. You're gonna to go to your hard drive, which is C for me. And if you have 64-bit, all right, this is the difference. Here's 86, because your guys are probably gonna be looking for 32-bit. This is your 32-bit folder right here. This times 86. This is your 64-bit folder right here. So for me, I'm gonna click on 64-bit which is program file 64 bit and OBS. All right, so, all right, now we're in the OBS folder right here. Leave this open, just leave it open. Don't do nothing to it. Now we're gonna go to this website, which I put in, I will put in the link for your CLR browser source plugin. Here's where you need to figure out your bit version. So if you have 64 bit, you wanna click this right here which is downloading, see, it's 20 megabytes. If you have 32-bit, please, cl please click this one. All right, so we're here. Here is the, pro the program right here, or the, the plugin itself. Here's what comes inside of this zip file. So now we're gonna go back to our OBS folder that we opened, and now we're gonna click plugins. When we click plugins, we're gonna take this right here, Actually, let me make this smaller for you guys so you guys can see. This should completely work. There should be no problems once this is done. If there's any kind of problems, I don't know what you guys are doing wrong or what's wrong with your computer, but it should be 100% completely fine. So here we go. CLR host plugin folder. You want to take that, just drag it right here. Don't drag it over top of any of this stuff right here. Just drag it right where its own little space right here. There you go. It's installing right in a folder. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. So now you have this DLL. And most of you guys might be putting it inside this folder. Do not put it inside this folder. Put it down here in its own little space again. And drag it off just like that. There we go. It's done. So now everything's installed. You shouldn't have to do anything else in this folder. Close it. You're going to go to, to open up your OBS. And for you guys, it'll look like a new scene. So I'm going to create a new scene. Now you're going to right click on sources, click preview, right click on sources, add, and you should see CLR browser. If you do not see CLR browser, I want you guys to read, update this right here, and it's going to tell you you're going to need to click download and choose the times 86 or 64. Once again, 86 is 32 bit, 64 is 64. Um, pretty simple to, to understand there. Um, also, your .NET installation, it must be updated. Please click one of these right here. Uh, you're probably going to click this if you have uh, your internet hooked up. So you're going to probably click this right here. Um, I don't think there's anything else. And this is what this all looks like right here. Yeah, it should be good. So um, after you do all this, it should work. If, the, if it don't work, then you're going to need to Google search to see what your problem is. If it's giving you some kind of error. But like I said, here's your CLR browser. Download this, whichever one you need. And if none of that works, what I showed you, go and download these right here, these two. And make sure these are up to date. If they're not up to date, then once you update them, it should show. Um, if it's not showing up, the CLR browser, when you right click and click CLR browser, close OBS and then open it back up and try it again. Um, if that don't work and then update this, make sure you're closed out of this before you update it. And then once this is all updated, 
open it back up and try it again. So that should fix everything and that should fix all your problems. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Thank you. Have a good day, guys.